there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Inside Look, your video sneak peek into the newest issue of the world's favorite freshwater aquarium magazine. I'm Alex Rose, communications and digital media editor over here at Amazonas, and we're going to be checking out the exciting new stories featured in our upcoming January-February magazine, the first issue of the new year. And if this isn't a great way to start off 2023, I don't know what is. If you've watched any of these videos before, you'll know that I'm more than a little bit into killifish, so having an entire issue dedicated to them made me very happy. <laughs> so uh, let's have a quick look at some of the great articles we have to look forward to in this colorful new edition of Amazonas. As always, we open with our letter from the editor, and Courtney gives us a nice overview of the lives of the killies we're about to explore. We kick off the magazine with our aquatic notebook section, which contains four short articles covering some current news topics. The first one is about the official scientific naming of the black tiger baddis, now Dario Tigris, from the Ariwadi River Basin in Myanmar. The next one, by yours truly, is about the recovery of the snail darter, a small darter native to the Tennessee River watershed, and its removal from the federal list of threatened and endangered wildlife. After that, we cover the formal naming of three CW-coded Corydora species, CW146, CW172, and CW173. The last notebook piece discusses the reclassification of the red jewel cichlids, which are now assigned to the genus Rubrocatochromus, and contains eight species, including the type specimen Argutatus. It seems that there are still a lot of unanswered questions regarding species diversity within the genus, and future work will likely lead to the description of new species and the synonymization of others. Now, on to the Achilles. Our first cover story provides practical advice for maintaining and breeding the small and colorful African killifishes in the genus Aphiosemion. Our next cover story is about the short-lived and absolutely gorgeous killifishes of the genus Nothobronchius, the largest genus of African seasonal killies. Life in the Fast Lane was the perfect title for this article. The next killifish cover story is about the fishes in the genus Pachypanchex that are endemic to the isolated and wildly unique island of Madagascar. Prior to reading this article, I honestly didn't know all that much about Malagasy killies, so this was a pretty fascinating article for me. Our last cover story features a killifish collecting trip to Kenya, where we learn about where to find these fishes and how to collect and transport them legally. It's not all about Achilles, though. There is an interesting article about the care and attempted breeding of the gold-striped gudgeon, Sarcochylichthys parvus, marketed in the U.S. as the Chinese neon golden stripe shark. A bit of a word salad, but a really neat fish nonetheless. Then we get a comprehensive overview of the life history, care requirements, and breeding habits of the African butterfly cichlid, Anamalochromus tomasi. The next piece is perhaps the most fascinating and surprising article in this edition of the magazine, and it chronicles the breeding and fry rearing of the bubble nest building African pike kerosene, Hepcetus odo. It really gives you a sense of how excited the author was to witness something so genuinely rare to see. Next, we get a look into the controversial world of flower horn cichlids and get to follow along as the author raises some juveniles to adulthood and breeds them. Then we've got an insightful article about the challenges and rewards of breeding the Mekong River puffer in captivity that documents some really interesting spawning behavior. There's also a plant feature that examines the life history of the horizontal sword plant, Echinodorus horizontalis, from habitat to classification to propagation. Then there's our calendar, a listing of upcoming aquarium events. A complete listing can be found on our website under the events tab. Next, we've got sources, our listing of local aquarium stores in the U.S., Great Britain, and Sweden, where you can buy Amazonas right off the shelf. To close out the magazine, we're treated to a species snapshot of Hyphesobrycon micropterus, the strawberry tetra, a small species that is native to Brazil and Venezuela. 
We finish out the magazine with a close-up look at a silver arowana with a platinum mutation, a rare and highly prized variety. Well, that's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive inside look at this brand new issue of Amazonas. I had even more fun than usual being part of the editorial team for this one, and it looks absolutely gorgeous in print. So I hope you grab a hard copy of it for your collection. If you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and most importantly, subscribe to the magazine. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.